you also mentioned about B12 and how you're on the fence. Yeah, that's, you know, I, I, I reserve the right to change my opinion about any medication I prescribe. And by the way, I do prescribe medications like Dr. Clapper and uh, Dr. Poldy. It's not, we're not alternative medicine doctors or holistic doctors. We're just conservative medical doctors and we do prescribe medication. Like I prescribe statins sometimes and sometimes blood pressure pills and certainly insulin for diabetics. But I reserve my right to change my opinion about medications including supplements, which in my mind are medications. And B12 is something I've been wrestling with for uh, you know, almost 40 years now. And I have to tell you, I don't have it completely settled. Right now, I think it's fair for you to believe what I say in terms of you ought to take a B12 supplement. But if you hear me speaking a little differently about it, it's because the science still isn't completely clear. Uh, there's research that ba has been done that I'm still looking at, and there's research still to be done about the best way to get B12, you know, what kind you should get, uh, methyl, hydroxy, cyano, uh, you know, how much you should take, whether you should take pills at all, whether you should get it from algae or, you know, it, there's still a lot of questions out there, but I, I believe you're safe just taking a non-animal source of B12 for now until I get my confusion settled. If, if you haven't settled it in the past 40 years, John, I don't know if we're going to... Jay, if we're there's just... Uh, well, for one thing, it just sets wrong to me to have to be able to have to, to, need take, to take any it. isolated concentrated nutrient to fix a good diet. That just doesn't sit right with me, never has, but, I, but based on what I know, I've had to do that. And I, by the way, Mary and I do take B12 ourselves. So it's not a subtle recommendation. It's something we do in our family. Uh, but I'm still, you may find me in a month or a couple of months, I may address it, and you may say, well, that's a little different than he's always been saying. That's okay. I can change my mind. I will not change my mind about a starch-based diet, though, so. No, but I do, I do see kids with methylation disorders, kids on the spectrum, and, and, and I, I, it's beyond my expertise to, to, do, to, re, to uh, prescribe the right supplements and so on. What I do is I try to prescribe an absolutely excellent vegan diet Let's use the word vegan. Nice. Uh, and, but but I, I, also, I, I also disagree, at least mildly, in that because most people do not eat as well as those of us in the room, I think that there are some isolated nutrients, but the, the supplement industry has, has gotten out of, out of control, and, and the only one, B12, B12 I, I, is somewhat inarguable, although Dr. McDougall will get back to us over the next 40 years. <laughs> um, I've seen too many cases of B12 deficiency um, among vegans. It's, it's serious business. Um, the reason why you have to take it is that 500 years ago, we got our B12 the same place the deer and the antelope did. We drank stream water, we pulled up unwashed vegetables and ate them, and the B12 is made by the soil bacteria in the ground and in the water. And because of modern sanitation, those sources have been taken away from us. And for that reason, you need to take a B12 supplement and feel okay about it. Um, we are hopefully not going to be drinking stream water uh, in the near future. So it, it's okay to take those supplements. Don't neglect it. It's serious business. Seriously, is that? Well, you should get your B12 checked if that's, if you're relying, I wouldn't bet my spinal cord on unwashed vegetables. I would, you know, I would certainly check, you know, I would have your B12 level checked. If it's, if it's high on the vegetables, cool, then you're getting it from it. But uh, I've seen too many cases of, of um, numb hands and feet and brain fog from people who've neglected it. Don't neglect it. So I've seen a lot of um, B12 deficiency, but it's, I've seen, hello? Oh. So I've seen it more often in people on proton pump inhibitors acid suppressants, um, and, and actually, actually just in aging, sometimes we have decreased acid production. So there's a lot that's going on other than just vegan. Mm -hmm.